Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. Psyche to back here with another LEGO review, and today we're going back into the Mixels Series 4 with the set of three called the Infernites. This one is a mainly red-based group, kind of a flame theme going on, which is why the name is as such. Let's go ahead and take a look at what you get in the bags. A multitude of red and dark red pieces can be found in this one, along with some basic instructions. Uh, at $5 a pop, each bag is full of enough pieces to create a cool little concept called a Mixel. Uh, average of around 65 to 70 pieces for these guys and uh, well worth the money. I've said many times as I've done the reviews for things that these guys are always worth picking up if you're looking specifically for bulk in a certain color or even specialty pieces because of the value you get per bag. It's actually cheaper than buying a single uh, pick a brick. Which I think is a very easy way to lead us into the builder's pick for this one. The builder's pick on this I think will have to be the dark red. There is a lot of red in this as well, but red being a very prevalent color in most LEGO sets, it's not hard to get a hold of. The dark red on the other hand, very interesting idea for color changes and ranges coming out, and this dark red is, is one of those. It has a lot of specialty pieces available in the dark red color for this one, spe specifically the cheese wedges. And although you don't get a ton of dark red pieces, I think it's definitely a good value for these specific sets. Speaking of a good value for these specific sets, we have for you the collector's pick. As usual, it is the characters themselves because each one is different. They are kind of a limited series. It is pretty much impossible to get rid of to get a hold of series 1 or series 2 at this point. Let's go ahead and start left to right. The first one you're going to see there is Meltus. Kind of a a dog or dragon concept going on there. The next one is Flameser. Uh, more insect in, in creation, and the last is Bernard. Very interesting play on words there. This one is just kind of set up as a monster style. Now, as far as the series goes, I do believe that this section of the series, the Infernites, is the weakest ones as far as creativity is concerned, but they make up for it with the Mixel Max, which is what I'm building right now for you guys. The Mixel Max is pretty interesting and uh, I, I like the outcome of it. If you want to find a way to build the Maxes of this one or any other one, you can head over to lego.com and they will allow you to download a PDF of the Max instructions for free. Now due to the amount of Series 3 still available in stores in my area, I am going to assume that they ramped up the amount that they were putting out, but at the same time that also means that the interest in the Mixels may be starting to, to sway a bit. Uh, I would personally f see this Mixels idea kind of disappearing probably into next year so maybe one more series we have to look forward to and then my guess is that it will be no more so if you guys are interested in the Mixel series and any any concepts whatsoever go out and see what you can find as I said one and two is pretty much impossible to find let's go ahead and take a final look at the product here what you got here is a set from series Mixels 3 incorporating bags number 41 530 41 531 and 41 532 to create the Mixel Max for the Infernites five dollars a pop you got fifteen dollars worth of fun entertainment and value very interesting and good way to get a hold of some specific colors of pieces I hope you guys enjoyed this one we have one more left for series four we'll be seeing it soon as usual folks thanks for watching don't forget that like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and I will see you next time